being a woman has definitely been a barrier. There are extra hurdles you've got to jump over. Um, I'd also say being of mixed race has been another hurdle to jump over. Some of them are around prejudices and stereotyping. It's stereotypes and it's assumptions. For me, it's not dwelling on them, it's about seeing a way around them. The truth is, to be a good firefighter, you need to be calm under pressure, you need to be decisive, you need to be good at problem solving. None of these relate to that stereotypical image of what a firefighter is. I worked for an investment banking arm in um, the 80s. It was a, a culture of swearing and patting people on the head and uh, didn't mind what you said and being very uh, detrimental to women. So that was a significant barrier, but it really taught me the value of ensuring that everybody feels they're contributing as they should do. Long ago in my career, I was the lone female, for example, at one of the stations that I was posted at. And just the differences, perhaps, in the way in which I think or others think, um, sometimes I think the culture has changed hugely now, but in the past that probably has been a barrier. I think the most significant barrier has been myself getting in my own way. Really building the confidence, having the determination and belief that anything is really possible if you put your mind to it. It was really finding a way to give myself the self-confidence to go forward, to believe. Holding myself back when actually I should feel more confident and more competent as a leader. There has been some really interesting research that says um, that actually when people look at jobs, uh, that women will look at a job and say, can I do 100% of it? And if they can, they'll apply. For most men, they will look at it and if they can do 60%, they think they're a good match for the job. So actually women are really self-limiting. And so I think uh, for me, there's a really important thing about pushing yourself to do things, even if it feels scary. I still am amazed when uh, women consistently hit those barriers because of their gender. It's really, really disappointing and they give up and I just say, don't give up, just keep going.